Hello everybody and welcome to this video in which I'm going to explain to you what it means to be a rebel or rather a R-E-B-E-L which is a concept that just recently basically came to me straight out of nowhere and I just really love abbreviations I think that's the word that actually makes sense well, I guess there is probably even a more specific term for, you know, the idea of taking a certain word and then finding basically a new word for each of the letters of the word, right? But I don't know what it is right now. Anyways, <laughs> um, so let me introduce you to my concept. And let's just start with the letter R, right? And R, in my model, stands for real, because a real rebel is a real person. What, of course, means being authentic and showing up as your true self. The E, in my model, stands for expressive, because a real rebel is someone who uses their voice or any other you know mode of expression they like for example their body <laughs> or their written word to express their you know real truth and their authentic self the letter b in my theory or model <laughs> stands for being a bitch no not really <laughs> I'm just kidding, but then again, I think it could be considered similar to the thing I'm about to say, which is blunt, being blunt, because a real rebel is rather direct and straightforward in their communication and their modes of expression. And now we get to the point where my definitions or, you know, let's say associations with the letters might um, you know differ a little bit from what we uh, normally or, or traditionally consider to be a rebel because the second E in my model stands for empathetic because I don't really like rebels without a cause and where does a worthy cause stem from? Or what is our motivation to, to, to rebel against or maybe rather for something? Well, it's the ability to feel others' pain, for example, or to put yourself, uh, yourself in their shoes and, and, you know, having the, therefore, having the desire to improve their situation. Of course, it can also just be, you know, being um, compassionate with yourself and therefore rebelling for the things that you want, which is not contradictory to my model. And last but not least, the L in my model stands for logical because a real rebel with a cause is not someone who just, you know, follows their impulses and acts, you know, rather randomly or cha chaotically, but is someone who has a certain logic or, let's say, a, a system to what they are doing, like a systematic approach and not just one that's solely based on moods and yeah i guess you get you get the point right <laughs> um yeah and that's my video for today let me know what you think of my model of being a rebel in the comments and if you like this idea and if you are a rebel yourself <laughs> please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and till the next time bye